Hi there! Well, today's video is going to be my morning skincare routine. I'm going to cover my evening skincare routine as well, but I'm going to do that in a separate video, which should go up on Thursday. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about the products that I like to use every morning. So when I wake up, of course, I don't have any makeup on my skin, so my routine is pretty simple. So I like to cleanse my skin every morning, and for that, I am using the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I've been using this for quite a while. It's very gentle. It doesn't dry out my skin. In, and it's just a very simple, straightforward cleanser. And it says it's non-comedogenic, non-drying, and non-irritating, and I have found all of those to be true. I am actually considering switching to the hydrating version of the CeraVe Facial Cleanser. I'm going to be talking with my doctor about increasing the strength of the Retin-A cream that I'm using, and that will be a little bit more drying on my skin, especially as my skin adjusts to it. And we're also moving into the fall, winter seasons, so the humidity humidity in my area is going to be significantly less, so I am thinking about switching to that. I only have a little bit of this cleanser left, so it's sort of a good time for me to go ahead and switch to the different cleanser at the same time that I am increasing the strength of the Retin-A. But for right now, I am very pleased with this, and I'm sure this is something that I will continue to purchase. I think this is my third bottle of this already. Okay, so the next thing that I like to do in the mornings, and this is something that I only do a few days a week, is I like to exfoliate with my Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish. This is my favorite exfoliating scrub. I've reviewed this for you before, so any products um, that I'm talking about in either of these videos that I have reviewed, I will link to those below. But basically, I just love that this is a very... Uh, clean rinsing scrub. So it does a really good job of polishing the skin and then once you're ready to remove it, it just goes away so easily. I love that I can rinse it clean without a lot of effort. It doesn't st seem to stick in my hairline or anything like that. So I've just always really loved this. I think it does a great job and I was able to get this larger size at the Sephora Friends and Family sale last year. So I'm really hoping that they offer this again because I only have right about here, I think is all I have left of the product. And I definitely Definitely want to repurchase this. I love this stuff. Okay, so my skincare routine is pretty simple, as I said in the morning, as far as cleansing. And so now let's move into what I do to protect my skin and moisturize. So some days, if I know that I'm not going to be outside and I just want a little bit of hydration on my skin, I like to use the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizer. This doesn't have any sunscreen in it, but it is a really nice lightweight moisturizer. So this is really great for my combination skin. And I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video. My skin is somewhat oily through the t-zone and then sort of normal everywhere else and then I do get dry patches from time to time mostly from using the retin-a or if I use water that's too hot for my skin Okay, now if I am going to be going outdoors, I like to use a couple of things for sun protection so if I not sure, sometimes I rotate through different foundations. So if I'm not wearing a foundation that has its own sun protection or if it's very low, I like to use the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This has SPF 30 and it does not seem to break out my skin or cause any irritation or anything like that. So this is also something I've been using for quite a long time and I really do enjoy this. Now, what I've been doing more often than not lately is combining my foundation coverage with my sun protection. So I've talked about this before. I really enjoy the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So on a lot of days, this is what I'm wearing. I'm not having to wear an additional sunscreen. This is my all-in-one product, and I love it for that. So this is SPF 50 plus broad spectrum UVA and UVB. So this is a fantastic product. And more and more often recently, I find myself reaching for this because I can even out that skin tone, but also get a great protection. So I love this product. Now also, I do like to use an eye cream, specifically something that has some light reflecting properties that kind of helps me uh, diminish the look of the dark circles that I often have from my allergies. So I really like this Origins Ginseng. This works very well to sort of, like I said, just sort of diminish the look of dark circles. It does have a little bit of light reflecting properties in it, so you're getting a very subtle little sheen underneath the eye area, and then that sort of just distracts a little bit away from the look of 
the circles and this also provides a nice amount of hydration. It's not so greasy and slippery that you can't wear your concealers and other products over the top of it. I find that a little bit of this goes a long way, but it does seem to sink in really quickly so that I can go ahead and put my concealers on pretty quickly and don't have any problem with any you know, separating or wanting to settle into lines or anything like that. So that is my morning skincare routine. Like I said, pretty straightforward. I like to keep things simple in the morning and not layer just too many things on top of each other. The nighttime routine is a little bit more in depth. I have more things that I like to you know, add in and rotate and different things like that. So be on the lookout for that next video. So I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.